Hello, welcome to the sanctuary at St. Stephen's Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Will. I'm here with Scott Kaler. We'd like to give you a construction update. I'm happy to say that we have a projected timeline for the final steps. For more on that, I'll turn you over to Scott. Hello, I'm Scott Kaler, and like Pastor said, we're here in the sanctuary. Um, as you can tell, it's still under construction. Most of the construction is complete, including removing materials that had degraded and replacing them with treated wood, repairing around the windows, and correcting the roofing and the flashing issues. The remaining steps include installing the manufactured stone, siding, and installing new gutters and additional row of masonry block to allow for better grading. More on grading later. The final step will be to install the new large windows. There was a manufacturing delay after our congregational vote, but we now have a delivery date of June 16th. This means that overall repair should be complete as early as the end of June. And after the windows are installed, the contractor will need to perform additional trim work and other detail work throughout the sanctuary, drywall repairs, as well as cleanup and additional lawn repairs. Volunteers from our congregation will repaint the sections of the walls that need touched up after the drywall repairs are complete. Keep an ear out for announcements if you would like to be part of that project. When we began these emergency repairs to our sanctuary, the only thing that we knew for certain was that one of our windows was sinking to the ground. As our contractor began work, it quickly became apparent that the entire sanctuary was massively damaged due to improper flashing in the roof and windows, inadequate grading of the terrain immediately surrounding the church, poorly functioning downspouts, and other smaller issues. Beyond the massive nature of the repairs, supply chain issues related to the pandemic have caused delays. We're very happy to share that the end is in sight and that we expect to be worshiping in our own sanctuary again soon. Electrical and networking work is taking place as we record this video and will be completed by mid-June. This will allow us to live stream our worship service via a single, unobtrusive camera on the back wall of the sanctuary and record them to share online and to move some, net, some of the network equipment out of the church office, freeing up some additional space. It will also prepare us to install a second camera in the sanctuary if we choose to in the future. We'd like to share a little bit about the manufactured stone that we will be installing. It is more affordable than natural stone, is lighter, and will repel all kinds of moisture. Among the samples that we've seen, we have found one that comes close to our original color and shape and has ordered it for installation. This repair project is the first step in making sure that our building is safe and usable for us and for future generations of our church. The grounds immediately surrounding the church building will need to be graded so that water runs away from the foundation. And unfortunately, this is beyond the budget that we set for this project. Further, the walls of our narthex were built with some of the same issues as the sanctuary. They're not as heavily degraded, but they will need to be repaired in the not too distant future. I'm happy to say that the back portion of the church, including the fellowship hall, does not have the same issues. We will, of course, have to maintain it, um, but we won't have to rebuild it. We're grateful to everyone who has been involved with this repair project. Thank you to the Congregation of St. Stephen's for your participation in special votes, for your patience with me, your pastor, as I've learned to record videos. Um, thank you to the Congregational Council for the many hours that you've spent at meetings and on Zoom calls, uh, for all the emails and phone calls. Thank you to everyone who has been involved in the behind-the-scenes planning, uh, especially Scott Kaler, Jill Maple, Jeannie Reed, um, the members of the property committee, and others whose work has not gone unnoticed. We're grateful to the Guy Company uh, and its president, John Guy, for their commitment to excellence on this complicated project and for his prompt and honest communication with us. Most of all, let's hold gratitude in our hearts for everything that God has given us. Um, but this lovely building, I've heard many stories since I started here um, under a year ago of what this building means to you. I've heard of the decorations at Christmas and I've seen a small portion of them. 
the Santa shop. Um, there are so many things, and I could go through a list, of what having a building enables us to do in terms of our ministries, um, the social health of our congregation. Those are big things. Um, let's continue to be good stewards of what God gives us, including this building. Um, help me discern, help the council discern, help everyone involved discern how to be good stewards of St. Stephen's building for our sake, um, for our neighbor's sake, for the sake of the message that we carry, which is the love of Christ Jesus. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you all here again soon. Peace be with you.